Hi, cat. On you, kitty, you get that mouse. Good cat. He's a good boy. Okay, viewers, I'm gonna try to, um, the fluorescent light break, that fluorescent light chip I had in here. I was doing some, uh, trying to wire a uh, H, one of these high voltage cables on the end of it. Just doing some experiments with the NST. And at the, uh, the ends of the tube break off, and all this powder fell out. So I swept it up and put it in this jar. So I decided to, um, I want to see what happens when I pump it under a vacuum. I've seen an experiment similar to this done on the uh, Secret Life of Machines. They made a fluorescent milk bottle. They had a high voltage arc and a vacuum and some uh, fluorescent powder, which looked like the same type from a, uh, from a fluoro light tube. I want to see if this will actually um, fluoresce under a vacuum with a high voltage arc inside. I'm going to get everything set up and we'll see what happens. Okay, viewers, it's all set up. Everything's connected to the NST. I'm just going to Connect the NST and plug the uh, vacuum pump in. Alright. NST on. Vacuum pump on. I'm using the 12k VNST this time. Last time I did this off camera, I used a little 10k VNST. It doesn't seem to want to fluoresce much. I don't know what that light glow is over in the electrode. There's a little bright glow at the contact point that just disappeared. Hmm. Must be the fluorescent powder that actually directly arc. Must have to directly arc to that. Interesting. So if I take that apart and rub those electrodes in that fluorescent powder and try again, that should excite. Interesting. Alright, let's try again, but this time I'll um, take those electrodes in that white powder. Vacuum off. Oh yeah. Another thing I could do, instead of just turning one at a time on, I can just piggyback these, this NST. There you go. That's how it should be done. They'll both be on. Alright, I'll get this, uh, I'll put more fluorescent uh, powder on those electrodes and see what happens. The phosphor should uh, excite then and light up. Okay, if yours are electrodes are coated in that phosphor, let's see what happens now. 3, 2, 1. There we go, Jack is that in there. It's a bit lighter. The sands would be uh, having somewhat of an effect in there. Oh, I got a bad seal. Yep, I can hear a leak. That lid's not on tight enough. Oh, unplug that safety first. Tighten up that lid. Man, it was loose as all hell. Didn't realise it, but that loose. Now let's try again. Take two. Yeah, because where the leak was, there was air pulling toward the leak where the air was getting in. Now that's working better. The arc points are nice and bright. Interesting. They will eventually burn off that uh, phosphor. The camera's gone one away there. Yeah, you see the phosphor's burning off the uh, electrodes. Not, a, not as bright now. Interesting. I've got to stand upright, get this end, pop it up so it uh, doesn't have that Jacobs out of effect. There you go, bit risky but I did it. There you go, the arch is staying in there now. Power off. Interesting. It did somewhat excite that powder. I've got, a, I've got an inline filter on this vacuum hose here to stop any powder getting sucked into the compressor. You don't want to vaporise that phosphor powder, it wouldn't be good for you. 
So I've taken a safety precaution there to put an inline filter in there for the sake of our uh, yeah, health and the uh, and the compressor too. Otherwise, end of um, yeah, it can tell out your compressor oil. There you go. That was quite interesting. Okay, if you want to try in the open area, it won't do much. It only works under a vacuum, but this should prove the principle. A bit of dust up there. Yeah, it needs to be under a vacuum to do anything really interesting. All right, let's try up there. Yeah, they're coming back a bit. Yeah, definitely needs to be under a vacuum. Nice arcs these transformers make there. Draw some nice arcs. I want to clean those electrodes up and I can keep that clean for another experiment. There you go. That'll be enough for now viewers. Thanks for watching.